to me, hearing it from you, it seemed like it would be a, a tall task for most people because Absolutely. most people aren't even coming up in homes mm -hmm. where they have that relationship. Yeah. Or have experienced that, you know, on the come up. Like, as mm -hmm. they're growing and developing, they haven't had somebody to kind of ride for them like that. Yeah. So, do you find, like, you know, whether it's the couples you counsel or mm -hmm. just the singles that you ministry, do you find that most of them are even ready to make that sacrificial step with somebody? That has or to be. anybody. That has to be taught. Because even what I'm saying now, I didn't know in 2012. I didn't know in 2013. It was the failures of 2012, the failures of 2013, the struggles of 2014, the struggles of 2015. How could this get a little better? Die more. Okay? I'm dying. She's dying. 2016 is better. 2017 is rocky. 2018 is better. You know what to work. You know what works now. Die to you. Die. Because here's the thing I learned about husbandhood, bro. It's not about demanding. It's about modeling it. That's the game changer. You talking about a cheat code? Wait, I just wait, gave you one. Again, it again. It's not about demanding it. It's modeling it. That's the cheat code. Whatever you want in your home, model it model it and not just the rules standards the love the mercy the grace the meekness the gentleness the kindness the cleanliness model it and it's hard that's why you got a lifetime to do it wow <laughs> that's, okay that's why you got a lifetime let me tell you something i got like a thousand more questions for you so <laughs> let's go so we, the we, modeling we, is heavy though we, we, yeah. we probably got to stay on that real let's quick do that because that's 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 extremely important how do you find, you say it's not about demanding it, mm -hmm. it's about model. Do you find that most men in their homes demand first before Absolutely. they model? Absolutely. What is it, so what does that look, so when, when you talk about modeling it, how gradual does your home change? Does the mm -hmm. people around you change when mm -hmm. it comes to modeling um, these, whatever we want to see in our home? So it goes back to what you said. You said the homes you come from you didn't have a model home. So what do you do? You take the template from that home and you bring it to every relationship. And that's usually what destroys the home because since you didn't have a model home, you caught a template. Yeah. Regardless if y'all like it or not, there's a template that y'all caught. And marriage will expose your template. You may not even know Ooh, the ones y'all have. Man. I'm serious. Whenever you, so true. Whenever y'all say I do, it's going to expose your template. The model home comes from you having a model. You can't, you can't model something if you're not having somebody model it to you. So for me, the Lord is the model. So when I see stuff mm -hmm. like people call him Beelzebub, I'm thinking, well, I would, if I was the Lord, I would clap back. Sonic boom, you can't breathe for a second. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it. But for him to be gracious and be like, I'm not Beelzebub. No kingdom divided amongst itself can stand. He explained. And then there were times when people said, he's a liar. We saw him do this. Jesus gave no reply, so he knew when not to speak. Most people have no idea how to plan a date that builds connection with 100 engaging dating cards, skip the small talk, and get straight to the real conversation. Let's take the dating game to the next level. Click the link in the description and use discount code CLIPS for 10% off. So if I just look at his life, there were times when he spoke, there were times when he didn't speak. He washed Judas' feet too. Bro, when you allow Judas to sit at your table and you can wash his feet, you learn to love like Jesus. So he's the model. So since he's the model, then I start trying to abstract that in my home. And that takes time. That takes first me exposing like, hey, he modeled in this. He modeled sacrifice. He modeled this. Well, give me an example. Okay, boom, 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 let me show you. And then I go home and I try it. And I fail and I try again. I fail and I try again. I fail and I try again because I have to unlearn my template. Until you recognize that you had a template and until you have a model, you can't be one. You can't be one. So I have to first, my household is unhealthy. I got to have a model to abstract my behavior from. And I'm going to fail, but I'm going to get up again. Mm -hmm. The beauty of it is since you're a man, once you get that thing consistent, everybody going to line up. They gonna buck it first. They gonna buck the whole house. Gonna buck the system first. Yeah. But it's the consistent. This is my house. This is how we're doing it in love and in grace. They are gonna pick it up. Wow. The that kids will start saying, sense. "Jay, you didn't put your shoes back where Daddy told you." Good job, Bill. I didn't have to say nothing. Model it. But best believe, if I leave my shoe out, Daddy, you left your shoe out. You right, baby. Mm -hmm. Versus, girl, I'm put. I put my shoes I want. I pay the bills. Model it. Because the same way I snap off, Jay gonna do that when his sister tells him, you didn't put your shoes. Jay, shut up. Same thing, because they saw daddy pop off. So I'm like, that mindset of modeling what you want changes everything, and it's harder. 
but it's gonna get easier as you keep on striving for consistency. That's a great team. I think we I think yes. we read that uh coach uh John Wooten talks about that. A good team is when the the coach is able to hold the players accountable. A mm -hmm. great team is when the players are able to hold each other accountable. That's good. That is, that's <clears> dope. Okay, okay. So we talked about the, the the ladies, you know, having some, you know, issues with with waiting for, you know, that significant other. Mm -hmm. And uh we were actually this was a couple of weeks ago, we um spent some time with Will and Ezekiel from We Need to Talk podcast. My gosh. Right. Yeah, super dope. And they had a, a in person experience where it was a guy who um, you know, really just wanted to voice his frustration. Mm -hmm. And to sum up his frustration, it was, hey, you know, I desire long-term commitment, relationship, family, but the women that I am encountering are looking for me to be ready for something I have had no instruction or guidance in, Ooh. and I am not ready. Yeah. Now, that was a very vulnerable moment for him to express that. Yeah. Now, what I typically hear from the ladies is that these guys, they, this was probably including me. 30, 35, 40, 50, 60, yeah. dragging their feet. Mm -hmm. So as a man, how do you know if you are genuinely, self-admittedly not ready mm -hmm. or if you just are just dragging your feet until, I don't know, until, until indefinite? Well, I think you got to have your definition of what ready is because ready is not perfection. Mm. Um, if you're ready to commit, you're ready to learn, you're ready to be teachable, um, you're ready to sacrifice, then you are ready. I, I think it's, it's, the, it's the fear factor forever. The, com the same woman. Though all of that starts to get intimidating uh, when that has not been your normal lifestyle. So um, I think it's more of a faithfulness of being committed versus dragging your feet. A lot of women too, but a lot of men struggle with the idea of covenant. They don't even use that word. It sounds super spiritual. Covenant. It sounds like you're stuck. <laughs> you're right. Covenant. It's strong, right. Yeah, so it's when you're ready for covenant is when you're ready to grow. You're ready to become. You're not, you, there is no there. All there is is a ceiling to a next floor. So you're never there. It's going to constantly be another floor, another floor, another floor. Life is a continuous university. So when you get to the place like, okay, I'm ready to, I'm ready to sacrifice and I'm ready to learn, then you're ready. But you're not, this, this perfection thing is what I'm trying to erase. Like if you could hear it in my verbiage, that perfection and there, erase that. High value, man. Erase that. Erase that concept. That's cultural. That's not kingdom. That's not kingdom. You're never going to see high value, man. You will see kingdom or godly, man, but you're not going to see high value. That's a cultural mindset that's causing for a lot of people to have unrealistic expectations. Mm. We need time to grow. It's a crock pot experience, not a microwave. Maybe that's it. Maybe this on-demand Amazon Prime next day shipping express TikTok. is messing us up. Yeah, maybe that's messing us up. Quick going viral. Maybe that's causing for us to recognize just because the world has Amazon Prime doesn't mean God is Amazon Prime with your process or your growth. Mm. Crock pot, bro takes time 